I just wanted to show some progress of the farm on this beautiful South Central Alaska day. It's a totally different property. You can actually walk across it now. In fact, I walked across it for the first time because it's not so thick. We're not done, but it makes a huge difference. Um, we've had a few setbacks, bone hydraulic lines. We just dropped a giant, giant, giant aspen on the fence, shattering it into a million pieces uh, that we had to fix. I got the skid steer really badly stuck in a mud pit last night, and uh, that took a few hours to get out. And uh, setbacks like that, but there's a crew of four guys working. Everybody's working really hard. We're, we're limited by the fact we can only have one small fire at a time without getting a large scale burn from it. Um, so that doesn't help, but um, we burn it out and put it out and then light another one and it'll just, we'll just get it done slowly. The one big issue that's gonna come up here is all these stumps. There's thousands of these stumps and um, normally I'd wanna burn them and return the nutrients to the soil but there's no way I can have a pile of stumps that big without it being completely in the way. So I'm probably gonna have to dig them up and then pay to haul them off, which infuriates me, but there's no other way to uh, deal with them given that this is a working farm and I have trailers and sawmills and hay and cattle and everything else. It's impossible to have a, uh, a pile of stumps that's 100 feet high. So uh, we're just gonna have to do that. But I mean, it looked completely different. And when we get all the rest of these uh, dead and dying spruce out of here and all the dead and dying uh, aspen and, and uh, birch even, it's gonna be totally different. We had to clear cut this side of it because that hill there is getting pushed down into Shit Valley, which is where my cattle handling facilities are gonna be. But this side here is gonna be a separate paddock divided into two chunks for steers and or cow calves or depending on the time of the year all the animals can mingle so we're going to leave all the deciduous trees because a it's just prettier it gives some wind break it gives some shade it gives something for the cattle to scratch on it gives some leaves to improve the soil all of that sort of thing so we're working away here and um i'm pretty excited about the cattle handling facility, the stockyards that we're gonna build this summer. I think it's gonna be really awesome. We're gonna have automatic waterers and we're gonna divide this whole thing into a section for bulls, one for steers, one for replacement heifers, one for cow-calf pairs. And everybody's gonna get a quarter of the property, which I'm then gonna divide again so I can very intensively manage the grass because I'll never, ever, ever have enough grass here to feed my herd but I'm gonna uh, do an experiment with a really intensive management with uh, fencing and cross fencing, trying to let them graze very briefly and then pulling them off of it and seeing if I can at least give them some grass. It'll certainly be better than this mess now of dead and dying trees. Even these big aspen, you think they're super pretty. They're all rotten in the heart, almost all of them, even the birch, they've all just completely outlived their lifespan. Uh, the, the beetles are all killing the spruce and the big aspen are all uh, dead and dying. They don't look like it, but trust me, when you get into that heart and they're completely hollow, they're just a danger. So the downside is I'm gonna have to clean off most of the trees on this property, but it's gonna be uh, really nice pasture land. I'm gonna have my apple orchard over there and uh, stockyards and chicken and pen for, uh, pens here for the hogs. And um, it's gonna be quite the place when we're done. So all it requires is a bunch more work and money. So on that note, I'll go back and check this fire.